Hillary Santacor, the women's soccer team, after today's 3-2 to two victory against Crosstown rival Southern Hampshire. Yeah. Talk to us a little about the game tonight. What went well for you? Uh, well, we put away our chances in the first half. We put away three. It was really good. We took advantages of the balls that were coming across the box, and then it was always, it's always really important to, you know, sit back a little bit and play defense and, you know, just get your composure and don't play frantically. Sure. And then, bonus question for you. Yeah. What can you? What lessons did you learn in the second half that you can possibly try to fix and um, improve upon well, next game? They were definitely game? beating us to the balls in the first half. Second half, we really had to get those 50-50 balls. But then also, it was even more important to win that second ball. So okay. in the air, 50-50. Right, we're here with Tessa Vercoloni of the women's soccer team. Today's 3-2 victory over Southern New Hampshire University. Tessa, talk us through your goal. Um, well, I think the um, the opposing team they came out pretty flat. They didn't think we were a big. Um, Big, big rival or a good team at all. So um, pretty much I just got the ball through and the two defenders, I don't think, just didn't think I would take them on and I did. And I was on the opposite side and just crossed it bottom far post um, by the goalie. Um, against any other team that was ready to play us, I don't think it, it would have been an opportunity. But as I said, this team didn't come prepared to play against a good team. and. Um, uh, the whole team, the whole game in general was um, mostly ours until second half. We just started playing a lot of um, kicking the ball out and um, hoping that we can just get it up to the forwards or the outside midfielders. And um, they definitely came second half knowing um, and respecting us a lot more. So they they showed that and they scared us by putting two goals in the net. But we shown through and we really wanted this game a lot more than they did. And uh, the scoreboard shows it. With women's soccer head coach Tony Wallace after today's 3-2 to two victory over Southern Hampshire University. Tony, talk us through today's game. Uh, it was a matter of us finishing some chances. Uh, Southern Hampshire is a very, very good side. They get a lot of weapons. They can be very dangerous. Um, but we had some opportunities and we finished them, which is something that's been missing for us all year. So that was a, a great way to get going in the first half. But I also knew at halftime that it wasn't going to be easy, even up 3-0. Um, yeah. And they scored a couple of goals and pressed us the whole time. So it was ended up being a one-goal game, which is we're pretty used to because that's what we do all year long. But uh, good game, good effort by the kids. They gutted it out and uh, against a very good side. I think Tessa Vercoloni's work great and Hillary Santacor in the middle. We're both fantastic. They worked hard. Uh, they pressured them all over the field and created opportunities for us. And, and I think those two were really a stand-up. The whole team really worked hard, as you have to, to beat a good team like that. Then talk to us about uh, going into the next game. What lessons will you take from this very tough opponent in Southern New Hampshire and carry on to the next opponent? Uh, Adolfo, I don't know a lot about him. Uh, very good side, um, from what I understand. We're at home, so that's a good place for us. Uh, I just think we need to do what we've done all year, which is go out and play. Uh, we just haven't had the results. We played actually better maybe in some games than we can play today, but today we finished our chances, and that was the difference. So we got to believe we can finish. And we got some different goal scorers today, so that was really nice.